my background, I come originally from Egypt. Uh, this is where I was born and raised till I was almost like, I think I was 23 years old when I, I left Egypt to go to uh, the States to do my master's. Uh, I ended up in Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan, where I did my master's in environmental engineering. And then I came to U of A in September 1995 to do my PhD in environmental engineering. Technically speaking, I've been here at U of A since 1995. But as an academic or as a professor here, I was appointed uh, at the rank of an assistant professor in July 2001. I have a family of, uh, you know, like, uh, including my wife and three kids, three boys. Uh, I have one brother who is actually uh, an environmental engineer as well. He did his PhD here at the University of Alberta. My dad passed away in 2010, so I still have my mom who lives in between Cairo, Dubai, and here every once in a while she comes here. My most, uh, like my most important accomplishment throughout my career is to have actually my wonderful family. <laughs> That's more important for me than anything else in my life, right? So uh, without my family, I wouldn't be here today. Or back then in 2003, I was a young assistant professor. I received uh, Alberta Ingenuity New Faculty Grant. I was the only recipient in the faculty among only 10 in Alberta. I was so happy about it because actually it was a, a nice recognition of my early uh, accomplishments and also like it was good uh, funding for two years. That helped me quite a bit actually. Uh, and then after that, uh, uh, I received uh, the Encirc Industrial Research Chair. Fortunately, that's the same year my dad passed away. He passed away in November and I actually learned about this uh, in December. So at least it uh, it helped me uh, cope a little bit that year. Recently, uh, I was uh, lucky to be a finalist for the second year in a row uh, for the Aztec Awards, uh, in particular uh, with uh, in the area of oil sands research uh, innovation. So this was my second year in a row to be finalist, but I won this award this year. So uh, I won the award this uh, year, and uh, I'm lucky enough to win it. And you know, like. Uh, I was very enthusiastic about it actually. I ended up going home around 1.30 in, in the morning and my kids woke up in the morning, all came to my room and asked me, did you win the award, did you win the award? I told them, yeah, I won it. And uh, they were, my family was very happy for that. And, you know, I, I feel always grateful to have my family support, you know, like uh, behind me. Uh, out of the academic, I actually uh, am a soccer fan, big soccer fan. I still watch soccer games for my team that I I was cheering for since I was six years old, back in Egypt. And of course, I cheer for the Egyptian soccer team. This year was an amazing year because Egypt made it to the World Cup. And hopefully Egypt does well. <laughs> Honestly, uh, people think that I'm a very serious guy all the time because I'm just always walking around fast and I don't have that smiley face all the time, but I joke a lot with my kids and my wife at home and my friends. So people might think that, oh, this guy is very serious and he never jokes and things like that, but I'm the opposite outside here. What inspires me that I have to give back to the society, right? And I hope that one day, honestly, that I will, re I will be remembered that, yeah, this guy's work has helped the industry uh, get better when it comes to environmental challenges and has, you know, through my work eventually would help, you know, like uh, reclaim the land and water. And I, I feel good that where my work gets cited uh, by other folks who are working in the oil and gas industry outside of Canada, uh, which means that my work actually, and uh, I feel good about that in a way that my work helping others, you know, like get further in terms of the knowledge that's gained and hopefully it would this knowledge will be implemented uh, in terms of the applications of the knowledge uh, in real life.